morning guys today i am going to a new place i have been waiting for this trip four months because of all the travel restrictions here in bali it wasn't possible to go to another island but i really hope that today it's everything working out So finally I've arrived to Lombok and now uh, my driver of the air bring me to Kucha Beach. That's where I will stay, where I have my accommodation. So I've just arrived to this place where I am going to stay. This is my room here. Nice and simple. And of course, Bali style, open bathroom. Finally, I have arrived. I am super hungry, so I pick up now my scooter and I'm going to cut some lunch. Literally, I just fall into the bed. So today they cancelled two of my flights. Probably there just weren't enough people on it, so I could take the third one. I'm really so tired, so I will just go now to sleep. And tomorrow when I wake up, I will have a nice breakfast and I will go to serve for the first time group book. Good night. So I will quickly show you the place where I stay now. So this is my villa and I have here a small terrace There's my surfboard and usually I am sitting here journaling in the morning, drinking a coffee and we have here a nice pool. Everyone is still sleeping, that's why I am trying to speak a little bit quiet like a place to do yoga everyone is surfing here who is staying right now in this accommodation usually this is a surf camp but yeah now it's really quiet here I really like this wall this is so cool an outside shower here so if I come back from surfing I can just wash all the sand here down there is a shared kitchen here so I prepared my surfboard see you guys at the surf There is group book inside, outside, dondons, and I think another spot. Yeah, I'm going to take here one of these boats to, to get to the spot because it's pretty far. The sun is really incredible strong.
in YouTube tau. <laughs> Good session. About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. to pay um, 10,000 for the parking 10,000 rupiah and now I have to walk up here in the Bukit I wasn't thinking it's gonna be such a stony dirt road my shoes or sandals are not really good for it but anyway whatever <laughs> I am the only tourist here I'm going to walk a little bit further up there. Hello! <laughs> place it's called Bukit Merese. It's a really famous. Do you speak Indonesian? Uh, no, just a few words. So, yeah, this, this place it's called uh, Bukit Merese, and this is a really popular place to watch the sunset. Right now, actually, is not so many people here. I guess this is much more crowded then things are normal here and everything is open I'm going to sit now here and just Subscribe. <laughs> For a few people asked me to make uh, photos with them. Sunset here, it was a little bit cloudy, so I'm not going to wait till it's getting like pitch dark. <laughs> I am actually really surprised that there are no tourists here because this place is, is really beautiful and um, seems really, really popular with the locals because it's like really so many of them now here the sky is just so pretty there was just this few boys who wanted to make with me some pictures if you are a woman and you are traveling I guess you get that as well pretty often um, especially in places where there are not so many tourists you as a woman and as a tourist you are always something special there so expect that they're gonna maybe ask you to take some pictures So I just came to pick up my board and I just realized how crazy crazy was that before because I don't know if it came through the, the camera but the guy went on full speed it was really close to me and I just couldn't jump anywhere because behind me was bush Whew, I just wanted to get out of there to be honest and now it's dark actually and I wanted to avoid to drive in dark because there are really some crazy drivers here and you gotta be careful especially people with jeeps and trucks they just really don't care i'm still shocked i'm going to pick up my board and going to cut some dinner Here, here, here. 
so just came to Maui Beach. This is a pretty advanced um, surf break. Uh, right now the tide is really shallow. Um, I just saw before the swell coming in and it looked pretty big. But the beach is incredibly beautiful. There is absolutely no one here. I feel like I would be in Jurassic Park. To make something I just saw someone crashing on the shallow reef so I decided probably it's not the best for me to go out here in this place alone even though it looks really really amazing the wave but the tide is still too shallow and yeah, I want to be back at my place for lunch because um, I have to prepare a few things for my next trip and also I made up here with a friend to surf at 4 together for sunset but I don't want to miss so yeah, I decided to just walk around here Salong Belanag Beach. Wow. I am feeling really so incredibly grateful that I can be here and just just explore and just enjoy all these amazing beaches like, like this one. Look at this. It's like it's just really I think it's once in a lifetime experience to have such a beach all for myself and usually this place is really really crowded i asked some locals and they said it's like really many tourists here usually so this is a really special time of the year actually of my whole lifetime probably i will experience this one to come to a really touristic place without tourists Before I uh, leave this beautiful beach, I wanted to just quickly talk again about this that how incredible experience is that to, to just be here in Indonesia when there is no mass tourism here. Everything looks like probably 20 or 30 years ago when there were just not so many tourists yet here. This was one of the reasons I came to Indi Indonesia that I really wanted to experience it without tourists. And when there was the opportunity to come here, I felt really lucky that, that I could come here. Probably I'm never gonna forget this. And I don't even think that once again in my lifetime I can go somewhere where it's like so empty like right now here this is just truly beautiful feeling in my bones i can feel it in my veins hands in the sky i can feel the winds of just seen people to pedal out to be honest I was thinking I'm gonna be alone surfing here today 
because the forecast actually um, shows it's not so good but the period so the power of the wave looks better than yesterday and obviously other people were just thinking the same than me that if it shows more power then it's gonna be small but spicy waves uh, so yeah I am definitely going to pedal out hey buddy hey hey I haven't finished entirely packing but that's okay I will do it tomorrow morning if you enjoyed watching this video please don't forget to like and subscribe it would mean a lot to me this is it for now I am really tired I need a good night's sleep because tomorrow I'm gonna wake up for new waves and new adventures see you guys at the next one